What's up everyone? Welcome to your 40 minute glutes and abs workout. I'm so excited that you've made it to this workout today. It's an honor to be your trainer. So let's go ahead and get you set up so we can rock this one together. We're gonna start off with glutes, then abs, then glutes, and then we're gonna finish with a core burner. Make sure you grab dumbbells that are heavy enough to challenge you in a glute bridge. And then also something light enough if you're ready for that weighted core to do weighted sit-ups with. I also use my glute bands, so go ahead and grab those if you're ready and your water and your sweat towel and let's crush it. All right, let's take it heels to glutes, open up the chest, open up the hips, and let's get warmed up. Very proud of you for being here. Let's close out this flex program with our very final workout. Going full flex mode after two rounds of each of our first three. So I want you to push into max out. I want you to push into challenging weights. Twist, twist. I want you to push yourself past where you think you could have started. Just chance it, okay? A lot of times you'll surprise yourself with your strength. Worst case scenario, you pause, lighten it up a little bit. But a lot of times once you mentally click in and go there, you're willing to push hard to stay there. All right, hands on your hips, reach them back and stand. Starting with the glutes, we've got three exercises. I'm gonna use my glute bands. Then we'll move down to core and then we'll do the both one more time each. Last one, good job. Step it out with your right leg. Left leg is back and straight. Opening up the hip. Good job, bend down forward. And come on back up, step up and switch. Open it up. We're gonna start off with a band squat and lift. Okay, take it down in front. So you'll have your band around your knees, squat, and then stand up, lift your leg out to the side. All right, so four squats, and then let's grab a dumbbell to get started. And then you can throw your glute band on as well. I'm gonna start with my medium and my 20 pound dumbbell, okay? Five seconds. Two, let's go. Knees are out, elbows are going right in between them. Good job. When you lift your leg up top, try to lift with the heel and keep the leg that stays on the ground nice and strong. Two, and rest, perfect. Keep the same band if you can go heavier. Let's do that for our second round, then we'll move on. Big deep breath in. Exhale, two, one. Keep your chest up. Nice work. Get ready, nine, eight, push, push, push. Three, and rest. Good job, fire hydrants, come on down. I'm gonna get all the band work up front here. You can go to your elbows if you need to, but we're alternating. Left, right, left, right. Exhale, let's go. This is gonna help us get ready for good glute bridges a little bit later. Stay present, stay focused, and keep pushing yourself. One rep at a time, one breath at a time. Good 
Nice work. Pinky toe, big toe, and heel all leading up to the sky. One more each leg. Three, two. Good, rest. If you want to go heavier, go to the heavier band or add a light band on top. All right, let's go. Round two and three, two, one. Great work. Every time you drive your knee out, you're using your glutes. You're helping your hip stabilizers get stronger. Good, come on. 15. After this, we're gonna stand up for a back squat. Two second pause at the bottom, and then explode up. Think about the dumbbell you wanna grab as we finish here. Three, two, one. All right, come on up. Leave the band on. All right, dumbbell on your back. If you're not comfortable with that, just hold it right at your chest. Two, one. Keep the knees out. Nice work. 15. Chest comes up first. One more, three. And rest. Heavier if you can, down if you need to. Round two, then we'll take a 30 second breather. Ready? Let's go. Knees out, knees out, knees out, push. Good job, second half. Six. One more, two, one. 30 seconds. We go through each of those one more time. Okay, banded squat and lift. I want you to hold it right here. Then your fire hydrants. Then we do that two second pause, banded back squat. 10 seconds, full flex mode. So I need you maxing out. Push those weights, get them out. We'll go in five. Let's go. Three, last one, good, Whew. fire hydrants, need you to really push to failure here, try to keep a leg in the air as much as possible, ready, let's go. Good, can you go up quick? Slow down, as soon as you land, switch. Three, 
Nice job, come on. Good, 15. Go, 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 eight, seven. Two, one. Back squat. Hold for two at the bottom. Come on. Ready? Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Sit, 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 sit. Power up. Twenty. Good, rest a little bit less at the top now. Let's go. Two more. Six, five. Two, one, rest. 30 seconds, breathe, and we're going down. We've got bicycles, leg raises, and then crisscrosses. Great work. Water if you need it. We're gonna lay it down. Bicycles, you can hold a dumbbell and open your chest up if you want. We go in two, one. There you go, college. You're feeling strong right now. That's progress. That's huge. I'm gonna challenge you to keep acknowledging things like that throughout the workout. Up, nine. Three. Breathe. You got one more round, just like that. Here we go. Five, two, let's go. Good work. You should be pushing hard like this. Five. Rest. Leg raises. Feel free to hold a dumbbell overhead like that again as well. If you need to dial it back, feet start over top of your hips, you just lower one leg. Okay. Two, one, let's go. Twelve. Two, one, rest. One more round there. The most important thing is you don't let your belly reach up. You're keeping your ribs and your hips reaching for each other. Low back is trying to stay as flat as it can. Three, two, round two, come on.
Great job, strong legs. They're looking pretty strong, right? Take a look, quads, you guys are working hard. They've been pushing you hard all month. You can take a second to acknowledge that. Keep it up, 15. Two, one, rest. Now you're gonna support your head here. Lower your feet as low as you can go, holding your core tight. Crisscrosses, okay? Lots of focus here on the lumbo pelvic hip complex. Keeping it neutral, focusing on as flat as possible. Let's go. Which means just don't let it anteriorly rotate this way. Keep it drawn back and then operate there. which can mean your legs are as high as this, or they're as low as six inches off the ground. No rush here, this is all about the control of your core position. Five. Rest, you got one more round through that one. Then we do our full flex round of all three of those core exercises. And you'll see this a lot in our next program, lots of core focus, okay? In a lot of different ways, but you're gonna love it. Two, one, let's go! Yes, good work, good work. Strong core focus here. Don't let the belly button reach up. Keep it reaching for the floor. Legs are strong and in control, 15. Amazing, come on, three, keep it strong and rest. 30 seconds, grab water here. This is a great opportunity for a water break. Okay, back up to the top. Your best round of bicycles, your best round of leg raises. If you want, leg raises can be on the bench, so you can drop your legs a little bit lower past parallel. And then those crisscrosses, strong and holding tight while you move. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Keeping a little weighted crunch here in my bicycles. Up, up. Keep your back down. Come on, come on. If you're not using your dumbbell, full crosses. Get your shoulder blades up. 15, go, go. Almost there, max it out, eight, seven. Three, two, and rest. Okay, leg raises. If you wanna open it up and hold a dumbbell up here, that's fine. I'm gonna put my hands under my tailbone. Lift it up, crunch just a little bit, two, one, exhale. Stay strong, come on. Full core max out here, full flex. I know you can feel that you've gotten stronger this month. I know you feel that. Be proud and keep pushing. 15. Five, come on, four. Rest. Crisscrosses. Start up top. As we go, maybe you can get a little lower, a little lower. Come on, good reps here. Three, two, one, let's go.
Keep the control. Don't let your back arch up. If you can go a little lower, let's go, 15. Nine, come on, lower, lower, six, five. Belly button down, three, two, rest for 30. Get set up for glute bridges, here we go. If you wanna use a bench, you can. We've got glute bridges, and then hamstring curls with the dumbbell, so you just ideally flip it over Use close to the same weight, and then RDLs, okay? So get those weights out. All right, ready? Bridge it up, two, one. And for me, the hamstring curls are gonna be a single dumbbell that I use two of for my deadlifts, okay? So hopefully it's somewhere close to that for you as well. This glute bridge should be pretty isolated. Two rounds here at a really heavy weight because your glutes are incredibly strong. I know they've gotten stronger this month. Good work. You got 10. Three. Good work. All right, if you can go heavier, let's go. You wanna add a band, add it. And round two of your bridges right here. Great work, come on. Just think about celebrating your strength with every rep. You're proud of how hard you've worked to be able to work like this. Squeeze, you got 10. I'm gonna flip over in four, three, Great job, you got two rounds of hamstring curls. I'm gonna use a 30, one of my dumbbells for my deadlifts, putting it in the arch of my shoe and keeping my foot as flat as I can. Three, two, all right, let's go. Keep your hips driving down, don't let your back arch up. Great work, the control here is everything. Second half. And as we're still in our first round, something to think about. How do you make this one tougher? You can stay in that bend a little bit more, or in the open, excuse me. Okay, so open, come halfway up, open again, and then all the way up. Two, one, rest. You got one more round there. Then we hop up for Romanian deadlifts. To make this simple, this dumbbell in your feet should be one of two for your RDLs. Four, three, hamstring curls, round two, come on. And when I give these weight suggestions, of course you know you have to make your own weight selections, but in the general zone, if you can go a lot heavier on deadlifts, you better go for it. I want you to. 15. Good job. Nine. Three. Good job. All right, come on up, RDLs. Two legs on the ground. Ready? Five. Two. 
Let's go. Nice work. 20. Back is very strong. Eight, seven. Two, one. Good job. If you can go heavier, you better do it. Round two right here. Then we take a 30 second breather and do each of those one more time. Ready? Back strong, let's go. Two, one. Good job, 20. Five. Rest, all right. 30 seconds, catch your breath, think big, think strong. How can you go as hard as you possibly can right here? Glute bridges, get a heavy band, get your heavy dumbbell, barbell, whatever you've got. 15, we go. And yes, absolutely, we're gonna do length and partials. Lay it down, ready? Dumbbells up, two, one. Come halfway down and then back up, let's go. Good job, second half, come on. You gotta be working harder, let's go, let's go. Eight, seven. Finish here, three, two, one. Good, flip it over, let's go. Hamstring curls to the best of your ability. The full stretch. Ready? Two, one, come on. Can you spend a little bit more time back there versus with your dumbbell over your knees? Good, second half, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't let up here. Five. Three, two, one. Good job. Last round of deadlifts. Max this out, truly. All right, you know what that means for yourself. Three. Let's go.
breathe. Good work. You are working so hard. Come on, stay with me here. We're going into final round of core. Sit-ups, jack knives, and then 90 degree sit-ups. First round of sit-ups, weight it if you can. If you're not there yet, use a weight and then lower slowly. Ready, come on. Come on, you gotta fight for it. You also gotta push for it. If this is easy, you gotta know you're not gonna get as much out of it as if you were up there pushing to failure. And whatever that is today is fine. Rest, which doesn't mean your heaviest weight just like it was last week. Maybe today's a little lighter, but your effort is 100%. You gotta be there with me, come on. Four, two, come on. Good job, 20. Seven. Two. Rest. All right. Jack knives. It can be two legs up in the middle together, or you can just do one opposite hand, opposite leg. Four, three. Come on, come on, come on. Stay with me. Let's go. Good job, 20. Stay strong, seven. Three. Good. All right, one more round of that one. Then 90 degree setups. Ready, let's go. Good job. Second half, come on, 22. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Eight, seven. Two, rest. Now you can either put your feet on a bench or on a dumbbell or just hold them at 90 degrees. Okay, this takes a little bit of leverage off of you. Okay, and then I want you to sit straight up from there. Good, you wanna shoot up with your ears reaching to kinda of get right beside your biceps. Eight, seven. 
seven. Rest. Now, if you want to add a dumbbell to that, I would recommend straight arm over your chest and then shoot up, ending up with the dumbbell over your head. Ready? Three, arms up, big exhale, two, one. Now, I don't want you to leave feeling defeated off of these, so if this option is just too difficult, you're feeling like you're just crunching, just drop your legs down, hands up, shoot your head right through your biceps, okay? Twenty, come on. Six. Two. Thirty seconds rest. Now, with all three of those sit ups, jack knives, ninety degrees, I need you to find a way to make it as hard as you possibly can for yourself. This can mean failing in a sit up, okay? Let's go. Big deep breath. Last three rounds of 45 seconds of the flex program. Come on, I need everything you got. Three, let's go. Come on, push through. 22. Almost there. Give me 10 more really great seconds. Eight. Two, one, good. Jack knives, two legs up if you can, one at a time if you need to. See if you can increase your time under tension. So more time in the air. Two, one. Good job. Go for it. Second half, right here. Don't stop. 10. Four. Rest, 90 degrees with your legs. And if you've got a dumbbell to make this tougher, grab it. Come on. Last 45, right here. Everything you got, two, one. Fifteen seconds down. Turn it up, turn it up. Do not give up. Do not slow down. Do not give in. 17. Show yourself. Yes, you can. 10. Up, up, up. Seven. One more. All together. Three, two, and one. Yes. Amazing work. You have made it to your cool down. You made it to the end of the flex program. I want you to hit a flex for me really quick. I know you work so hard and I know you're here right now because there was no part of you that would give up. And if anything, that is something that is well worth celebrating. All right, come on up to standing, make your way up. If you need to grab water, grab it. Hands on your hips. Big deep breath in, hands up, let it go. 
One more. Sink your hips back. Slight bend in your knee. Roll it up nice and slow. I can't wait for you to celebrate yourself here with whatever helps you stay on track. All right, come on up, hands on your tailbone, gentle push forward. Maybe it's a sports bra, maybe it's a t-shirt, maybe it's the program for the next workout program. The calendar will be in the description. Keep rewarding yourself with things that solidify that your hard work is worth it by pushing you closer to your goals, not making it tougher to get there. Okay, so next program, your workout calendar is ready for you now. I would love for you to keep going. Compound on what you just did and don't slow down, all right? The people that see the most amount of progress in their journeys are the people that don't stop and say, well, that's good enough. Or they don't get to the certain point and then sabotage themselves because they think I'm not worth it. I don't think I can do anymore. I've never done more than this. I've never worked harder than this, so I probably can't. You can, okay? You just flexed on yourself for an entire month. I know without a doubt that you can keep building and keep pushing and keep getting stronger in new ways, okay? Please know this program is something that can be repeated as well. So if you start back from week one and you wanna go back and do the same exact weights, but maybe last a little bit longer, or you wanna invest in heavier weights and do the same thing throughout the month, but just starting with the heavier weight or using lengthened partials a little bit sooner in the program. Whatever it is for you, know that this program can be repeated and is just as effective because you have to know how to push yourself to new strength levels. And that's always gonna be a present challenge with me. So, way to go. Like I said, please reward yourself in some way with at minimum acknowledging, commenting below, I crushed the flex program, full flex. I am so, so thankful that you did this for yourself because this is just the start of something incredible for your lifestyle. It's about lifestyle changes. Okay, those are the things that compound. Those are the things that keep you in the game because you see noticeable difference. They're not just hot and heavy and then you fall off. They are here to stay because you were in this journey for the long haul. And I'm right there with you. Amazing work today. Celebrate yourself and make sure you comment and subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Flex program complete. Woo!